all our development priorities are, as a county are uh, very sensitive to the variability in the climate. And uh, for that, it will be very important that uh, to meet our development objectives, we must be able to track the, the effects of climate change into these development okay, priorities. In other words, whatever we do, the, the, the M&D on the climate issues will help us improve on our projects by making them a climate proof. Okay, term. In one of, in first mainstreaming the term process into our county integrated development planning process, and then we have to integrate terms into our own county monitoring and evaluation system. So it will help us. The main purpose is for us to one to see the progress and look at, also check the adaptation and also look at the indicators that we've already developed and be able to link now uh, what at the world level together up to the county, what those linkages are up to the national, what uh, the framework that we've already uh, developed. Uh, we are using uh, the term framework uh, uh, from the local level, that is from the wards and the county, uh, because uh, we've already uh, uh, developed indicators and also at the, the output, the outcome and the impact level. And uh, we are using the term framework to ensure that these uh, are, uh, are linked. So the monitoring and evaluation of the adaptation is important to improve capacity and to enhance their livelihood and to attract the international climate related fund to invest the, to, to improve their livelihood of the poor people in our country context. So how to measure adaptation linking with development? This in this regard, academically and technically termed will support to the countries and share exchange with the knowledge and ideas with country to country. So I think STAM will be um, useful on this regard. As I understand that TAM is a new uh, uh, knowledge system to uh, related with the monitoring and evaluation. Uh, it gives us uh, to see the things uh, in, a, in a one step better than the, our previous monitoring and evaluation system. It's based on the uh, theory of change. It's the new theory to uh, we are going to adapt. Before we, uh, as in our conventional system, now uh, our visions uh, is or will be changed as the. Uh, track one and track two system. We we we, we see in the uh, we, our works in this modality. Ethiopia uh, has been trying to build up a green economy, uh, and for that reason, it develops uh, green uh, climate change, uh, climate resilient green economy strategy. And as per that strategy, uh, there are several projects which are working on climate change adaptation and mitigation and uh, one of the projects which contributes to climate change adaptation is uh, the sustainable land management project uh, within the Ministry of Agriculture and uh, TAMD is uh, uh, working with uh, the Ministry of Agriculture and it is uh, applied in this project because uh, this is a project which uh, contributes to climate change adaptation. So that time would be very useful uh, to track uh, whether the project contributes to uh, climate change adaptation or not. Basically, uh, so far as MNEs are concerned, uh, and we are going to implement it in our in our planning uh, country system, uh, planning of the projects, and we have uh, uh, different planning commission performers from one to five, and the planning commission performer three is all about the monitoring and evaluation, and hopefully we will be able 
uh, to implement uh, the adaptation, uh, measurement of adaptation and development uh, through a PC3 in our country system. I think it is uh, important for uh, evaluate uh, the process of the project working in Cambodia uh, because um, we have a lot of projects that work in Cambodia so on basically on adaptation, climate change adaptations but um, we don't have yet uh, about the monitoring and evaluation framework in order to work to analyze the process and how it's going on. Actually, Cambodian, we, do, we don't have a MD framework yet, so Tom can help us to develop uh, the framework in order to work with the local government for the national and sub-national. Tom measure or Tom uh, tool is a very good uh, uh, methodology that uh, we can apply uh, within my country especially within uh, the Department of Climate Change because right now we have also developed what we call Cambodia Climate uh, of, uh, Finance Framework, uh, uh, Cambodia Climate Action Plan to support uh, the Cambodia Climate Change Strategy. So and one, one of the things that uh, we left that uh, uh, M&E, yeah, so I think uh, um, uh, TAM uh, methodology is very good to develop a many system to support Cambodia climate change strategy. Uh, right now we, 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 we uh, develop only the national level. In the future time, maybe we can uh, uh, mainstream to the sectoral level or at the uh, sub-national level. I hope the, this uh, tool or this uh, methodology from TAM is a very good one for our uh, department and our ministry.